All right, guys, I'm going to review the Myron Mixon H2O. This is size 48. It comes in 36, 48, 60, and 72. I felt the 48 was perfect for me simply because I don't cater. I do do barbecue competitions. I do do large family cooks. But I've done five briskets, five pork butts, and several racks of ribs in this. And for me, that's big enough. You could probably do about an 80-pound whole hog in this. So if you're going to cater, have a restaurant, or cook a lot of whole hog, you may want to go with a bigger size. But for the, me, this is perfect. So I think in 2013 was the first year that I kind of thought about maybe purchasing this smoker. But to be honest, I was kind of a little bit scared. I, I came from pellets and I was like, you know, I'm going to have to manage a fire. I'm going to have to constantly tend to that fire. I was used to cooking low, slow and having long cooks. And so I kind of shied away from it. I ended up getting a gravity fed smoker to go along with my pellet cookers. But three years ago, which is when I put, purchased this, I was, you know, I, we were doing a, a lot of different things. Um, number one, it seemed like I'd be cooking briskets and we'd have people over for a UFC fight or a football game or some sort of gathering, or, you know, maybe we were just getting together and there wasn't an event, but I was waking up so early and then, you know, halfway through the night, I'm exhausted because I was, you know, I got up at two or midnight and put it on a smoker, couldn't go back to sleep, you know, woke up at five to check it, you know, and so this accomplished a couple things. Number one, Maine America. So I kind of tried to make a vow you know kind of during covid that i was gonna you know i'm gonna try to have all my smokers made in america um and so that fit that kind of check that box number one the other option is i was looking for something that i could wake up and cook a brisket i'm like how can i get up at a normal time and just cook a brisket and to do that i need to cook a lot hotter and faster and i felt the water the h2o water cooker kind of accomplished that so like this morning I got outside about eight o'clock. I already had the smoker out last night. I hooked up the water hose. I came down outside, turned on the water hose, put charcoal and wood in the firebox, got that going. And by 845, I was up to temperature and I had my brisket on. So that's super appealing to me because I'm not exhausted. I'm not sleep deprived. You know, uh, we're going over to some families later today, but I'm going to be able to have this brisket done in time for just a normal Sunday dinner. So, you know, my brisket cook time averaging between four and a half and six hours and consistently more in that four and a half to five range. So, you know, by two o'clock, this brisket should be done and I can rest it from, you know, I can rest it from probably I'll get an hour to two hours of rest time in there. And even if it goes a little bit longer, I'll still get an hour of rest time on my brisket before we're eating. So it kind of accomplished that to where I can get up, cook a brisket, not be exhausted. The other thing it did is I had at a barbecue competition is not my pellet cooker, but I have had during cooks. Uh, I have, I've had fuses go out. I've been really lucky and haven't had a lot of problems with my Yoder or my FECs, uh, cook shacks, but you know, I had my generator quit working. And so kind of had to scramble and get powder to those power to the pellet cookers. So I, a couple of years ago, I was thinking, I was like, man, I really want to kind of shy away from technology. I want something that I can always count on. If my power goes out, that's happened to me before where the powers went out in the middle of the night and I'm cooking a brisket and it's not cooking. So with this, I don't have to worry about this. Um, it uses absolutely no technology. It doesn't use a stoker, uh, a fireboard, a uh, barbecue guru. It uses strictly just water and wood and airflow. That's all you're using on this thing. So as long as you have those things, you're cooking. So you can kind of see over here, um, the hose hooks up. It's got a float in there, just con provides uh, water. I believe it holds seven gallons. But, um, and then you got a little spyglass that you have your water. Now, if for some reason the float's not working or you can't hook up hose up, I have poured water at a barbecue competition, just one gallon jug straight in there, fill that up. Um, it's, you know, obviously a little bit of a pain in the butt versus just always having constant water, but it still works great. So the other thing is you got your firebox down here and here you go. You see, I'm running a fire. It doesn't take a lot of wood, wood to run this. You can see this, this side's running at about uh, 350 and this one's running about 325. I got my dampers wide open, which is how I always run them. And I can kind of see smoke. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up, but it runs super clean. So it's not that billowing fire you see from some people. And I don't consider myself like a master at running fires or anything like that. Um, relatively new to me. And so I don't do that a ton. A uh, few features this thing has 
it did i did get the self-leveling legs and i asked him to put the same wheels that came on my gravity fed smoker uh so this thing is super easy to move i it's in my garage i move it out to my backyard and i do that by myself the smoker weighs 800 pounds i can easily move it by myself uh, you know, I feel like it, there's just nothing to go wrong with this thing. So I feel like, you know, you do want to run it with water. I've, I've heard the people cracking or having problems, but you want to keep that water full. So you can kind of see my water there, you know, and that water does get a lot, it does it's boiling now and it does get dirty from all the stuff. I usually cook a lot in pans, but on this one, I don't, um, just strictly because it is so easy to clean out. Basically when it comes time to clean this smoker, um, you just, you basically run, uh, dump it, all the water out through the ball valve that drains your water. And then you just wipe out your, uh, water pan with paper towels and sweep the ash out when that cools down. And that's it. You know, it's super easy to clean. The paint's held up amazing. You know, this smoker is just, it's been great. I feel like I've had, I've bought a lot of smokers. I'm kind of a smoker junkie and you know, I bought smokers. I'm like, well, this one's a lot cheaper. I bought a smoker before this that was a vault smoker. And I'm like, okay, it's 5,000 bucks. You know, it's a lot cheaper. But then I add this and that. And you know, by the time I got done, it was like 8,000 bucks. It really wasn't much cheaper. I feel like one thing about like this smoker, when you look at the price, that's really all you need. Like you could add the self-leveling legs. You could add a, a rack if you wanted to, but you know, that's the kind of your price. There's not like add this and add that, buy a barbecue guru, that kind of stuff. You just buy the smoker and you start cooking immediately with it and you don't need a lot of things. So I, I love the cook time. I feel like I get a better, a little bit better product than it with a pellet cooker. Now I'm still gonna use pellet cooker 75% of the time, but I do feel like that real wood flavor is just so hard to beat. And I feel like with the moisture that that water pan provides, you can get away with cooking hot and fast. I've tried it with pellet cookers and I just can't do it. You know, drums are kind of close. You know, I've cooked on a lot of different smokers. I'm gonna be doing several reviews, but you know, this is probably, I'm gonna say this, this is probably my favorite smoker, um, just strictly because the lack of technology and the, the how fast I can cook and still turn out a great product. It doesn't consume my day. It kind of allows me to, you know, still enjoy if we're doing a gathering or something else, you know, it still allows me to not be exhausted and enjoy the company, enjoy what we're doing. You know, I, I just, I felt like I kind of got to a point where I'm like, man, I don't have time to sit there and spend as much time cooking. Now, if I was going to hit it, this with a negative, it's the fact that you got to be around. You can't just you know, start your pellet cooker, throw your meat on, go back to bed, go to work, go mow the lawn, do whatever. Every 30 to 45 minutes, I'm checking this and probably at 45 minutes, I'm adding um, wood to this fire. So that's the one negative, you do gotta be around. That's why when I say I use it on the weekends, that's why. But I can turn out food, amazing food that I feel is probably better than what I do on a pellet cooker. I feel like I can turn out a better, better food and I can turn it out quicker and so that's kind of why I love this smoker. Uh, I remember I was at Myron Mixon's cook school in 2013 when I first looked at this and he said, barbecue's no good without water and wood. And I truly believe that the, all that moisture that the water pan provides just turns out better barbecue. So thanks guys. I'm gonna be reviewing a lot of different smokers I have as I do cooks on them. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I'm, I'm having fun doing it. Thank you.